Well, to begin with, uh, thank you for this opportunity to share my views on uh, the Roche's partnership with the Serbian government. Our motivation for this joint project lies in the fact that at Roche all our partnerships are focused on improving patients' lives. Now, to enable this focus, uh, we work to become a true partner to patients and, of course, healthcare systems. We are committed to this because this joint approach results in innovative solutions to real patients and healthcare system needs that move beyond the traditional drug discovery. So, along with our daily work for patients in Serbia, this specific project is about using innovations in genomics. This is to help healthcare professionals to make better decisions when treating people and patients living with the devastating effects of lung cancer. So, you may ask why lung cancer in Serbia? In Serbia, over the past three decades, the incidence of lung cancer has sadly risen significantly, increasing by nearly 30% in the period from 1999 to 2008. Our joint research is linked now to a government-wide commitment in Serbia to tackling these alarming figures on lung cancer and its impact. Firstly, Roche is thankful to have signed the first of its kind of partnerships with the Serbian government. This is to study the genomic profiles of lung cancer patients. The goal of the research partnership is to better understand the complex nature of lung cancer tumors. This includes understanding specific genetic and molecular alterations so doctors can make better informed decisions on preventing and managing lung cancer. Secondly, in collaboration with the Center for Force Industrial Revolution, Roche is actively contributing to this creation of a Serbian clinic genomic database. Such databases are proven to play pivotal roles in advancing evidence-based medicine and value-based healthcare by facilitating personalized treatment decisions and in accelerating research and improving patient outcomes through the integration of clinical and genomic information. My advice lies in keeping people at the heart of your investment and research approach. Here I see three main groups of people that can make a real difference to your strategy and ensure you develop an attractive environment for growth. First and foremost is to have to focus on patients, their needs and positive healthcare outcomes. Secondly, you have to make sure your biotech and pharmaceutical talent pool flourishes. You must offer your up and coming scientists and healthcare professionals top notch education, training, and development opportunities. Thirdly, you need to connect globally. Your strategy will have to focus on building your connections to people all over the world who are working on the advancements of human healthcare. This includes academics, non governmental organizations professionals from the industries, universities and investors. And finally, this people approach centered on patients, talented professionals and an international network of cross-sectorial experts needs to be embedded in a long-term strategy with a clear roadmap. Such a roadmap would also need to include the further development of cross-sectorial projects such as the public-private partnership of Roche that is now in place and the sustainable and ethical practices in research and production and ensuring internationally standardized, streamlined regulatory processes with patient safety at the center. And of course, last but not least, governmental fiscal incentive that drive innovation and attract resources. So in my view, it is by embedding such a strategy in this people-based approach that you will put Serbia firmly on the biotech and pharmaceutical map for generations to come.